Hey friends, I'm hanging out in the basement with Jack Frost, who's hanging up in the basket up there. That's his spot. Uh, the dogs can't reach him up there. We are hanging out in the basement because I am going to be starting um, a new challenge called the Single Seed Challenge. Now, this is my very first year in this challenge. It is uh, mainly on YouTube. I believe that there are people that do post things about it on Instagram as well. It's hashtag Single Seed Challenge and then the year. So it'll be Single Seed Challenge 2023 this year. But if you want to look back at kind of what it is and how it went in previous years, you can just do hashtag Single Seed Challenge 2022-2021. Um, it originated with a gardener named Scott Head, and he is from the Black Gumbo Southern Gardening Channel. And I've just been a fan of his channel for a little while, like watching how he explains things. You can go to his channel, and he just posted a video announcing the start of the 2023 Single Seed Challenge and kind of explained it a little bit more in depth. But basically what you're doing, his idea is that you plant a flat of tomatoes or a flat of flowers. You put 20 plants out in the garden. And so you're watching your crop as a whole. With the Single Seed Challenge, the goal is to take one seed, one seed of anything that you want, plant it, and then really kind of baby and watch and take the time to appreciate all the things that one little seed can turn into. So that one little seed, have it kind of in its own container. And then as it gets growing, up pot it into a new container, take some special time to check on it, plant it out, harvest from it, watch its whole season of life from baby seed till it dies before whatever your first frost is. So... You can do any kind of seed that you want to. It depends on what you want to kind of keep track of through the season. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go through my seed dresser, seed, seed cabinet. I don't know what we're calling that yet. It's going to get a makeover. I think I should paint it green. What do you guys think? Like a deep green? That'd be very gardeny. I don't know. That's next year's winter project. I'm already in the seed starting. I'm not painting this year. But we're going to go through my cabinet and I'm going to check it out and see what kind of seed that I want to do for this year's single seed, single seed challenge. All right, let's go check out seeds. Hey, Jack Frost. Hi. Jack is our Christmas kitty. He came and joined our family on Christmas. He was our first animal after we used to have three dogs, a beagle and two lab mixes. And they were all very old when Brent and I got together. And they eventually um, passed on. And we were without any inside animals for a couple of years where the kids were little. And I had always wanted a cat. And Brent was like, no cats. And then Santa surprised us and me with this kitty. He was two when we got him. And he's super sweet. But he's very much his own man. Like, he's like, hey, I will come to you when I'm ready. <laughs> Aren't you? He's a lap cat. All right. He likes to hang out down here with my plants. So let me back up just a little bit. Here is my seed. We're going to call it a seed cabinet for now. And I separate them into spring kind of seeds, summer seeds, hot weather loving things, and flowers. And then I have a whole other drawer full of pine cones for whatever reason. Things get weird sometimes. All right. Let's see. What would be a good single seed challenge? I kind of want something that grows for a longer time. You like how I'm using my kids, Melissa and Doug? sandwich making set boxes for seeds they work really good these little black these little uh, wooden ones also from their kitchen set they outgrew them i commandeered them so over here is all like radishes lettuces this kind of stuff i'm not gonna pick because it will not be in my garden long these kind of things will be done by summer these are all herbs and peas i'm gonna pass on those too i don't think those are gonna be great either all right Let's close her up. Okay, we're going to go down here to the summer. This is actually where I think I'm going to find what I'm looking for. I thought about doing a tomato, but I'm leaning toward doing a pepper. Here's all my peppers. I could do squashes. What the heck is this? Oh, some random beans. Aren't those pretty beans? Nice. I think those are good mother stalliard beans. I'm not going to do beans either. You don't do much with beans or squashes. I'm going to do a pepper, I think, and I think I'm going to do, I could do the Zulu pepper. I've got some Polish peppers that I might try, 
or last year our very favorite pepper was the shishito pepper and i ordered new seed for that oh look here's another polish one etiuda hmm can i do two this is the other one nocturne those are all polish hmm all right let's look at flowers real quick I don't think I'm gonna do flowers. I've got zinnias, asters, snapdragons, calendula, sunflowers, Mr. No, you know what? Here, we're gonna stick with the peppers. Let's go up and look at peppers. Okay, this is the guy we're gonna do. We're gonna do the shishito pepper. So he is, let's see here. These are seeds from M.I. Gardner. Sorry, that was a little crazy. These shishito peppers, they originally start green like this, and if you leave them on long enough, they turn red. We almost always pick them when they're green. Um, the kind of consensus that I've heard is that one in 10 of these can be spicy, and typically with peppers, the longer they stay on the plant and the more red they get, the spicier they get. So we pick them green pretty much all the time, but if one goes red, no big deal, we just toss it in there. Let's see what this says. I'm in the back of my packet here. Oh, hang on. Let me see if I can make this so you can read it. I don't know if you can or not. Hmm. Sorry, dudes. All right. I'll read it to you. It's a fiercely flavored pepper in demand in kitchens across the world. It comes from Japan. It is also wonderful pickled and fresh. Ooh, pickled. That'd be a good way to use that because let me tell you, one of these plants makes so many, so many peppers. Um, if I planted a bunch of these, like I, so last year I had three plants going and we had these at least once, if not twice a week in, but I had some, I mean, like I made 70 of them at a time. So these are very, very, very prolific. I might start more and try to make pickled ones with this. Harvest them, use sharp shears. That makes sense. Hmm. So days to germinate 10 to 21. Start indoors eight to 10 weeks. Of course, I'm going to do that way earlier than I need to. 75 days to maturity. All right, this is it. I'm calling it. My single seed challenge is going to be shishito peppers. Now I got to pick the best looking seed and get it in a container. Okay, I have picked my one seed. There she is. That's my shishito pepper seed. I'm going to put it in this container right here. So I'm going to put some soil in this. Just potting soil. Zoop. It's a little bit much, maybe. Shake her off. I'm gonna get the surface of this wet. A bit more. I could just dump some water on here, but I am all out in the basement, so. There we go. All right, I'm making a giant mess. I'm going to put a hole right here in the middle. And let's get the seed right in there. Hi, baby seed. I'm going to cover it back up. And water that spot again. And the last thing I'm going to do is I made a label for it called Single Seed Challenge. So remember what I got in here? I'm gonna stick that in here. And there we go. There's my Single Seed Challenge Shishito Pepper 2023. <laughs>